Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a quick look at StoryMap.js. StoryMap.js is an open source storytelling project by the Night Lab, which allows the user to tell stories uh, by moving around a map and viewing an image and a blog. It's kind of cool because it has a lot of the same functionality as the paid tool ArcGIS Story Maps, but unlike ArcGIS Story Maps, you don't need an Esri account or an ArcGIS account. This is entirely open source. And it's part of a suite of tools which might be worth taking a look at, and certainly I'll do it in a future video, uh, a bunch of other open source storytelling tools, including a timeline, a storyline, the ability to uh, insert sound into a story or compare a map over time or even make little VR stories. So all of these are, are really cool and it's amazing that they're open source, but let's take our first look at StoryMap.js. Okay, I'm gonna jump over into uh, another tab. Here's a story that I've been working on just as a, as a demo, um, and I'll go into the edit pane. The way that ArcGIS, or I'm sorry, StoryMap works, is that you select a series of geo-coordinates and then you insert a kind of media with some narrative text. So as we go forward, you can see I've embedded a YouTube video with some text off of a website and the YouTube player will play in the browser. You don't need to jump away. Um, and then you select a number of different locations and the map view will move around while it's showing different stories. Now, the map that you see can actually change. Uh, you have the option, if I go back to edit mode, you have the option to select a bunch of uh, open um, maps like this, where, here, I'll zoom out, and you can see what it looks like. It's not very highly detailed, it's more, um, uh, it's simple, it's, it's cleaner. Or you can do what I did uh, and actually include a Mapbox map. Uh, and here I you know, created a Mapbox account and if you don't know, Mapbox is a tool that allows you to create maps to use in other applications. So I took one of their default maps and removed everything except for administrative boundaries, satellite imagery, and place labels. And then I copied, oh, probably I shouldn't show this key, but whatever. Um, I copied my style URL and the access token. Please don't steal it. And now I'm able to pull in the satellite imagery from Mapbox into my own uh, story map map, which is great. Then you can see that each individual slide is a lat long location. Uh, that you can search for this way or put a dot on the map. Um, the insert of media and some text story. And if I wanted to, I could even provide uh, another background image or another background color for the text. I could, you know, this is rich text, so I have the ability to bold certain text, embed content, or even uh, link to other content. And as you go through uh, the, the map, it's kind of like, a PowerPoint presentation. You're creating another slide with another image in another location. If I wanted to make another one, it's pretty easy. I'll go to this website that I've been looking at and I'm going to um, I'm going to make a page about the return of inspiration. So I'll do a headline. Return of inspiration. Um, oops. I'll copy the text from here. And it looks like it's talking about a park called El Tomilar. Here we go. So it's selected location. And now I'm whoops, going to select an image. Sometimes, uh, just the way that this particular site is built. I need to pull the image out from code. So let's try, oops. 
I want this image. Interesting. Not sure where this image is. All right, you know what? We're just gonna cheat. And it looks like it's a screenshot anyway, so not a problem. For this particular video, we will use it. So I'm gonna take a screenshot, turn back to my default zoom, and then instead of selecting a URL, I'll just upload an image. Both are viable. And now, if I hit preview, it'll load up that image, go to that particular point on the map, and you'll see the text, right? If I save this and go to share, now I have the ability to write up a description, select a featured image. I could embed this in my website and view it elsewhere, or I could share the link on social media. So if somebody were to open this link, they'd get a full screen view of this particular story. So there you have it. Um, story map dot, or story map JS by Night Lab is an open source tool for telling stories. Um, and if you don't happen to have an Esri account or want to use a proprietary tool like ArcGIS Maps, you can use StoryMap to tell a vibrant map-based story um, using your own images and a bunch of map content. Okay, thanks for watching.